Hello, my name is Miss Keller, and I am so excited to read and learn with you today, you scholarly second and third graders. Scholarly means you already know so much and are ready to learn more. I know that we've been going through a lot of things right now, but I feel so grateful that we get to be together right now. We're gonna be taking a trip this week with Making Meaning, and we're gonna be working on our visualizing, making pictures in our mind. So make sure you have your imagination turned on <laughs> and are ready to make those pictures in your mind. There are going to be times during this lesson where I ask you to turn to a partner. Now, since we're not in our normal classroom, we're gonna to have to improvise a little bit. You can turn to a stuffed animal. You can go get a family member to do this lesson with you. Or let me introduce you to my friends. We've got rainbow fish over here, or llama llama wags the dog with his buddy monkey, and you could talk to them as well. Remember, it's very important to share your thinking because then it will help you understand it better. Go ahead and take a minute now to figure out who is going to be your talk partner. To you called Song of the Dog by Georgia Heard. Your job will be to use the words in the poem to visualize or make a picture in your mind of what is happening in this poem. When we share today, we're going to have two sentence stems that we're going to use. I'm gonna pull those up now. Okay, oops, sorry, llama llama. All right. I pictured blank, try that with me now. I pictured blank, or I imagined blank. Try it with me now. I imagined blank. Great. All right. So, before I read, I want you to warm up your visualizing brain. I want you to picture a dolphin. Close your eyes that helps you make the picture in your mind. Are you thinking about how big the dolphin is? What about how that dolphin looks? How does the dolphin move? In your visualization, where is your dolphin? Got it in your brain? Go ahead, share your visualization with your partner now. Scholars, when I shared with my partners about the dolphin, I imagined it being smooth and slippery, gray, with a pointed nose and fins and flippers. I imagined the dolphin moving fast through the water, like up and down, okay? I wonder if maybe you imagine something similar or different. It's okay if we have different pictures in our minds because we all have different experiences in our lives. All right, now that we're focused on that dolphin, I'm gonna read the poem to you two times. Close your eyes and picture the dolphin as I read. Song of the Dolphin. I am a dolphin, I swim in the sea, flipping and shining. Flipping means turning over. I swim in the sea, flipping and shining. Can you see me? Now you do, and now you don't. Try and catch me. You won't, you won't. I jump in the air and feel so free. To feel free means you have nothing to worry about. I jump in the air and feel so free, twisting and turning. Can you see me? Now you do, and now you don't. 
Try and catch me. You won't. You won't. Okay, I'm going to read it one more time in case you missed something on the first read. Song of the Dolphin. I am a dolphin. I swim in the sea, flipping and shining. Can you see me? Now you do, and now you don't. Try and catch me. You won't. You won't. I jump in the air and feel so free, twisting and turning. Can you see me? Now you do, and now you don't. Try and catch me. You won't. You won't. I'm wondering, scholars, what did you see in your mind as you listened to this poem? Remember our sentence stems. I pictured blank. Go ahead and turn to your partner now. Mama and I, we had a great conversation just now. We shared that we imagined ourselves trying to catch the dolphin, but it was too fast. Like when it says, try and catch me, you won't, you won't. And I bet some of you also picture the dolphin maybe playing hide and seek because it says in there, now you see me, now you don't. Were you visualizing the dolphin coming up to the water's surface and then going back down again? Scholars, I'm going to read this poem to you one more time. And this time, I really want you to focus on your visualizing what the dolphin is doing. When we visualize, we visualize the characters and we visualize what's happening in the story or the poem. I am a dolphin. I swim in the sea, flipping and shining. Can you see me? Now you do. Now you don't. Try and catch me. You won't. You won't. I want you to think, what is your dolphin doing in the first part of this poem? Go ahead, share with your partner. I love how in this first part, it says, swim in the sea, flipping and shining. Can you see me? Now you do, now you don't. I picture a really shiny dolphin jumping up into the air and then going back down underneath the water's surface. It's quite fast and it feels like it's teasing us. Okay, here's the second part. I jump in the air and feel so free. Twisting and turning, can you see me? Now you do, and now you don't. Try and catch me, you won't, you won't. Again, what is the dolphin doing in this part of the poem? Think about your sentence stem. I imagined blank. Go ahead and turn to your partner now. Scholars, don't you think the words jump in the air and the repeated line of try and catch me, you won't, you won't, makes you think how the dolphin is jumping in the air and disappearing again? It makes me feel like the dolphin is having a lot of fun. Maybe you were thinking about some of those things that I was thinking about. Maybe you were thinking about some other parts of the poem. When we read scholars, we always are visualizing or making a picture in our mind. Today, we did that with Song of the Dolphin by Georgia Heard. Now it's your turn. I'm gonna give you some steps so that you can be successful reading on your own. Independent scholars always practice after they learn something. 
That's the keeping on learning. What a great day of visualizing together. Remember, when you are reading, you are always making a picture in your mind. It helps to make their story come to life. We used Song of the Dolphin today by Georgia Heard. Now it's your turn. Scholars keep on learning. So I'm going to give you some steps of how you can continue this practice on your own. Today, I'm going to model it with you. And then tomorrow and the next day, you'll know what to do. Let's look at our great chart right here. Step one, get a just right book. I'm going to go back to my library and get one. Another one of my favorites. All right. You need to make sure that it is your just right book. That means that there are only three to four words that might be a little tricky for you, and that you can also say what happened in that part of the story. In this part, blank. Okay. So as I'm reading, the first few pages, I stop and I think, what did this part just tell me about? And then I retell it to myself. In this part, it's talking about blank. In this part of my book that I'm using, they're collecting things. Pe different people are collecting different things. I can retell it, so that means it's a just right book. Step two. I'm going to read with visualizing in mind today. That means that after those two pages, not only am I saying what just happened, but now I'm thinking I pictured blank or I imagined blank. In this part, I pictured the characters getting different things like coins and stamps, collecting bugs, and how fun the bugs would be as you're trying to catch them. And then, step three, keep going for 20 minutes. Stop and practice your strategy after every page. Scholars, I miss you very much. But together, we can keep on learning. And I will see you tomorrow.